All right, how do streams reduce the sizes of sediment particles? One thing as time goes on is that the particles get rounded, all right? See, see rocks are broken down by the transport uh, of the rocks. As it moves down, it gets broken smaller and smaller. Primarily, it's by collisions. So as these rocks collide with each other, they hit each other, then they get smaller. Because remember, they're moving downstream, like on the video clips we saw. Well, each time they get hit, they break a little bit of a part. The second thing also is they get this second thing we call sand blasting. Because as a little piece of sand hits this, it hits it and it kind of kind of grinds it all up and that causes it to be rounded so what you find um, downstream is that you find coarse particles upstream and downstream you find fine particles or at least more rounded at least so coarse and rounded might be a, and uh, fine means smaller and coarse means larger but also these are rough so they'll be sharper and these tend to be more rounded as you travel down a stream Okay. The other thing that can also happen is dissolution. That means dissolving. We talked about dissolving with the salt and water video clip a little bit ago. All right. So let's see if you can kind of fill in the the lines. The higher the velocity of the stream, the what do you think? In terms of the size of the particles. All right. The smaller the particles. Because what's going to happen is the faster moving stream will have more collisions. More collisions will break the particles down. All right. Smaller particles like sand can blank other larger particles. They can break down because of that whole sandblasting thing I talked about on the previous slide. All right. The last thing I want to talk about is something called downstream fining. Downstream fining. Generally, bed load downstream will be smaller and more rounded than the bed load upstream. I kind of alluded to that, but this is the official definition. And if you look at this, here we have a little river right here. And basically the idea is at the top of the river, you've got the course. This is kind of saying the same thing I said just a minute ago. And if you're downstream, you have finer particles. Okay. Now, scientists actually debate about what causes this. There are various causes. There are sort of two main causes. It can be reduced by abrasion or dissolution. So basically, as they bump into each other, they collide. As they collide, that breaks them into smaller and smaller particles. Or secondly, um, they're broken. Um, abrasion is when they just kind of get kind of sanded, like you take sandpaper and you kind of you can make something smaller by sanding. But also, they can just be broken. And most scientists, uh, river scientists, are kind of of the opinion it's primarily because they're just breakage of larger particles. As a rock hits and gets broken, it becomes two particles, and then they have two smaller ones, and then that smaller one breaks into a smaller one, and et cetera, and et cetera. So that is, um, that is it, I guess. And so we want to, uh, I guess we'll see you in class. We've learned more about rivers and the sediment transport of the rivers. We will see you in class. Bye-bye. Eh? We'll,